Just last week, Baidu had hosted its Create 2024 Baidu AI Developer Conference, where they had showcased a suite of AI models as well as development toolkits. These innovations aim to empower individuals with boundless potential to create AI applications as well as agents, regardless of the technical expertise. This is something that we love to explore on this channel. Something really cool that Robin Lee, who was the co-founder, chairman, and CEO of Baidu, had stated in his keynote speech at the conference was that in the future, natural language will emerge as the new programming language. He later goes on to say that simply being able to speak is enough to make you a developer, which is empowering you to shape the world with your creativity. This basically means that this concept is implying a democratization of programming where anyone who can communicate verbally can participate in creating technology, which is something that Baidu has been pushing with its AI toolkits and models. In the conference, they have presented three AI development toolkits. You have an agent builder, an app builder, as well as a model builder, which is helping to boost creativity in AI. They also emphasize ErnieBot, which has been making amazing strides recently. These are all the topics that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video as we go further in depth and showcase what you can do with all these amazing new models and toolkits. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. First things first, I got to say that Baidu has been doing a great job in the AI space with the release of many new toolkits and models. What we're going to be doing first is taking a look at the Ernie bot, which I have a lot of cool updates on. But the Ernie bot has now amassed around 200 billion users, while the Ernie API is now handling around 200 million daily queries, which is just absolutely insane to me. For the people who do not know, Ernie bot is Baidu's conversation AI bot that they built on Ernie. I used it a couple of times and I found it to be quite good. Now, something cool that they had introduced is the Baidu Co-Mate tool. This is an AI coding assistant that was powered by the Ernie model and has contributed to 27% of newly generated code within Baidu since its deployment last year. It has served over 10,000 companies with a code adoption rate of 46%. Over 85,000 enterprise clients have basically used it to create 190K AI applications, which is just nuts to me. It's super easy to create these AI apps with Baidu Komei. Now, as I was watching the conference, I noted down some stats which are pretty interesting to me. Now, firstly, we can see that the Ernie training efficiency had actually increased by 5.1 times compared to its previous year, and its ability to process queries per second for the inference had actually skyrocketed by 105 times, while the cost of the inference had dropped by just 1% of the March 2023 version. Baidu's AI infrastructure had actually made a full use of 98.8% of the LM training time. And it just goes to show that they are making these intricate models and toolkits that are super efficient and they perform really well. There's also two new additions to Ernie. Firstly, we have the Ernie 4.0 tool, which is accessible through the Ernie bot. It's something that features a code interpreter and it's going to allow you to manage and analyze complex data through natural language. It can also generate charts and documents, which is going to make it easier to derive insights and support for data-driven decision-making tasks. Secondly, you have Ernie Lightweight LLMs. This is the Ernie model family, which is now including lightweight large language models such as Ernie Speed, you have Ernie Light, as well as Ernie Tiny. Now, these models are compressed and they basically have been distilled from the original Ernie model, which is going to offer more agile and efficient AI solutions. Now, the announcement of the AI development toolkits is probably my favorite feature from this conference. This is where they have developed three new AI toolkits, and this is to help developers quickly and efficiently tap into the latest AI trends. This is where Baidu had presented these three plug-and-play toolkits, which is covering a wide spectrum of AI development pipelines. First off, we have the Agent Builder. This is a development tool built on Ernie, and it's going to enable the construction and the deployment of AI agents. It offers both zero code and low code modes, and it's going to allow for non coders to create agents with just a few sentences. Now, I know you're seeing this example, which is fully in Chinese, but no need to worry. It's going to be also translated in English. So you can utilize this and create various sorts of agents with this toolkit. 
Now, with the Agent Builder, developers can deploy agents across various Baidu flagship products. And this is through services like Baidu Search, yet Baidu Maps, as well as ErnieBot. And there's so many other services that you can actually deploy this on. Now, to date, there's over 30,000 agents that have been created using this platform, and it's just going to be super easy to do so. Secondly, you have the App Builder, which is a comprehensive suite of tools for AI native applications on Baidu AI Cloud. The App Builder is providing various components and frameworks necessary for developing AI native applications. This includes retrieval augmented generation, you have different agents for generative BI, and you also have it so that developers can create applications using a natural language within three steps. And lastly, you have the Model Builder. This is a tool that's going to facilitate model customization, and it's going to offer up to 77 models of various sizes, ranges from the Ernie 3.5 and 4.0 to lightweight models like Ernie Speed, you have Ernie Light, as well as Ernie Tiny. You also have numerous third-party models that you can basically use and integrate within this model builder. Now, additionally, it is going to be providing a complete set of model development tool chains as well as industry specific data sets. So, this will enable you to basically address model fine tuning and challenges comprehensively. Now, in the keynote speech, Lee had also highlighted three key AI development trends, and they are basically poised to shape the near future of AI adoption. Firstly, he mentioned MOE, which is a mixture of experts. He stated that MOE will play a critical role in the future development of AI native applications. It's going to enable developers to leverage different models to address a wide range of complex problems quite effectively. Secondly, you have smaller models. He was basically emphasizing that small models characterized by low inference costs as well as quick response times can be more efficient than larger models in certain scenarios. Thirdly, he emphasized on agents powered by the foundational models that possess the capability to understand, find, and reflect, as well as self-improve, which is going to make them quite integral to different components of future AI systems. He was trying to specify the three AI development trends that will be shaping the future of AI adoption. And you can see that he, as a leader of the company, has been pushing and elevating as well as innovating the whole game in the AI space by developing different tools and products that will be revolutionary. <laughs> Lastly, I want to emphasize on the introduction of the Apollo VTA, which is Vision Takes All. This is Baidu's foundational vision model that they have introduced, and this is for autonomous driving. Now, Apollo VTA has basically been trained on real data that has been gathered over 100 million kilometers of test drivers, and this is on complex urban roads. They have basically introduced this model that encompasses four core capabilities. This is in visual perception, detection, tracking, understanding, as well as map building. Together, these capabilities are going to provide a more intelligent and adaptable, as well as a safer solution for autonomous driving. Now, something cool to note is that Lee also announced the launch of the second Baidu Ernie Cup, and this is the innovation challenge. This is a competition for visionaries pursuing the next iconic model product or application for the generative AI era. This latest Ernie Cup will offer a special prize where the winner receives cash and resource rewards totaling RMB 50 million. Now, in conclusion, I definitely saw that this conference was definitely something that was quite remarkable for the AI space. Idu is quite committed and they're basically empowering anyone with highly accessible and user-friendly tools to develop products in this AI space. As Lee stated in his keynotes, we've reached a point where programming skills are no longer prerequisites for creating AI applications or agents. AI is fueling a revolution in creativity. In the future, developing AI applications will be as simple as creating a short video. Everyone can be a developer and can create. And that's the main purpose for this conference. Create 2024 is an event that is pushing the creativity as well as making anyone have the ability to use AI to do so much with it. And this is what Baidu has been teaching all of us. And I definitely saw that this conference was really revolutionary for the AI space. It's something that you should definitely stay tuned. I'm going to be posting more on it as I post more links and updates on Twitter. So definitely give that a follow. And that basically concludes today's video on Jaidu. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video that is showcasing this conference and it had introduced so many new models and toolkits. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. And lastly, 
Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notification, bell like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly.